Hello there, folks. I'm Dr. Struby. I'm a chiropractic physician in Pinellas Park, Florida. I'm going to take a moment and kind of go through some of the anatomy of the cervical spine, i.e. your neck. Um, obviously, you have some vertebrae in your neck, and actually there are seven cervical vertebrae. So in your neck, you've got several, seven rather, separate vertebrae. Uh, your spinal cord, which is essentially an extension of your brain, runs down through the spinal column all the way down to the base of the spine, but it comes through the neck. And at every level, some nerves branch off of that spinal cord, and the spinal cord is essentially a bunch of nerves traveling together. But some branch off at every level, they come out these openings, and they swing across the shoulder girdle and then down into the arm. That is why sometimes neck problems can produce problems with the arm. Most of the time, if you have a neck problem, you don't have an arm problem, but it is possible for that to happen. Neck injuries are not uncommon, especially if you've had any type of uh, automobile accident. That is probably the single greatest way people injure their necks. Uh, and if you are involved in an automobile accident, the most likely thing to be injured is the neck. If you've been injured, have yourself evaluated, and if needs be, have yourself treated. I think you'll be glad you did. I want to thank you for your time, and I want you to have a good day.